Hi everybody, it's Miss Jessica from the Tech at Lowell Branch Library and welcome to another Tech Sim Minute. Since our summer reading theme this year is Tales and Tales and it's all about animals, we're going to be digging into some of the science in the animal kingdom in our Tech Sim Minutes this summer. In the animal kingdom, some animals are what we call prey or hunted, and some animals are what we call predators or the hunters. In our experiment today, we're going to make ourselves predators and see how well we can catch our prey. For this experiment, all you need is some Skittles, some M&Ms, a plate, and a timer. You're going to want to have enough Skittles to where you can have 60 of each individual color, and that's going to be five different colors, and you're going to put them each in their own baggie like this, which I have already done before I started recording. And you're going to want enough M&Ms to have enough M&Ms to have 10 of each individual color, and there's six colors of M&Ms, and you're going to mix all of those together in one bag together. So you're going to have one bag of 60 M&Ms, 10 of each separate color, and five bags of 60 Skittles separated out by color. So like I said, we're going to be turning ourselves into predators for this experiment. And this plate is going to become the environment we are hunting in. And our pointer finger and our thumb are going to be what we hunt with. So we're going to be grabbing off of this plate just like this. Now, your M&Ms this is what you are hunting for. This is the food we want to eat. We are a predator that if we eat Skittles, we get sick. So we don't want any Skittles. And how we're going to set up our hunts is we are going to take our bag of M&Ms. We're going to dump them out on our plate. So there's what we're hunting. Shake that up a little bit. And we're going to start with the yellow Skittles. We're going to dump our yellow Skittles on the plate as well. And again, just kind of shake that up, mix them up real good. And now to hunt, you're going to set a timer for 20 minutes and see how many M&Ms you can pull off of this plate. And we're going to run the experiment for each different color of Skittle that we have. So we're gonna do it a total of five times. I'm gonna grab my timer and start it for myself and we'll see how many M&Ms I get off of this plate. Okay, I've got my timer set. I'm going to press start and we're gonna start hunting. Oh. Okay, so let's see what I got. Okay. So this is the result of my first hunt. I did get all M&Ms, it looks like. Um, I only have two of yellow anything, and they both turned out to be M&Ms, so that's good. And I got a fair amount of the rest of the colors. Uh, looks like I got mostly orange or blue, maybe? So I did pretty good, I would say. I'm going to pick all of the Skittles off my plate and get a set up for another hunt. Okay, so I've got all of my M&Ms back on my plate. All of the ones I hunted from last time, I put them back on here. And we're gonna try a different color Skittle. So I have the red Skittles this time. And what do you think is gonna be the color I get least of this time? If I have the red Skittles mixed together on my plate. Let's mix them together and find out. All right, I'm gonna start my timer. We'll see how we do on this hunt. There's my timer. Let's see how I did. All right, so it looks like I got about the same amount that I did last time. I did get a few more reds than I got yellows. So let's make sure they're all M&Ms. Yeah, those are all M&Ms. They all have the M on them, so that's good. And then I have quite a few yellows in this bunch too, and I hard, had hardly any last time. So that's very interesting. Let's pick out all the red Skittles and try with, in the, with our next color.
All right, I have again reset my prey here and I've got all my M&Ms back on my plate. And now we're gonna mix in these orange Skittles. And again, what color do you think I'm gonna get least of this time with the orange Skittles mixed in? There's one more left in there. All right, mix them up. All right, I'm ready for my hunt. So start my timer and let's see how I do. Oh. <laughs> There's my timer, let's see how I did. All right, I may have gotten just a few more than I did last time with the yellows. Definitely have the least oranges. Let's make sure all my oranges are in fact M&Ms. Yes, they are. And I have quite a few blues this round. It looks like blue's the winner for this round. Let's try it with another color Skittle. All right, my prayer reset again. I'm gonna grab my green M&Ms this time. Mix those together real good and take a minute. What color do you think is going to be picked the least? Set my timer and we'll see how I do. Wow, I only got one green this time. It is in fact a green M&M, not a Skittle. And it looks like I've got quite a lot of red and oranges this time, which makes sense because they contrast very well with that bright green. And I am getting a little bit better at finding the M&Ms, I think, because my pile is getting slightly bigger. Let's try another color. All right, last but not least, our last color to hunt with is the purple Skittles, which there are no purple M&Ms. So this one will be... Pretty interesting to see how it goes. Let's mix all of these up together. Set my timer. See how I do. Got a pretty good pile here. About the same size as it was last time. I do think they got a little bit bigger over time since this is our last um, run of this experiment. And if you'll notice, there's a color that is missing from this pile. That darker colored brown M&M, which kind of makes sense because the dark purple M&Ms are a dark color. So I was going for those bright colors that stood out against the darker colors. You may have noticed that the Skittles and the M&Ms looked very similar to each other. They're similar size and shape and even have similar colors. The yellows look really close to each other and even the greens here look very close to each other. And then you have the red and the oranges and the purple Skittles even look very close to the brown M&Ms. And as we mixed these in with the same color Skittles on the plate, those particular colors of M&Ms were the hardest to find. For example, when I had the yellow on my plate, the yellow M&M was the hardest for me to find. Same for all the other colors. The blue, since it didn't have a color match, was pretty easy overall to find because it stood out pretty well. You have a limited amount of time to catch as many prey as possible in the experiment, so you're going to be moving as fast as you can and you're just gonna grab the easiest ones possible, the easiest ones for you to find so that you can get as many as possible. And what does this have to do with animals and predator and prey? Well, you just experienced camouflage firsthand. Camouflage is colorings or a set of markings which help animals blend in with their environment in the wild. This can make it easier for prey animals to blend in and hide in the wild, which makes them more likely that they're going to survive because they're harder for predator animals to find. 
Some examples of this are katydid, which tends to live in leafy trees and they look like leaves themselves. And chameleons have even developed a way to blend in with many different environments by changing their colors because they move environments so frequently. Don't forget to try this experiment at home yourself. It's so easy to do and see how you do as a predator when your prey is camouflaged. And if you would like to learn more about predators and prey and camouflage, be sure to check out the link to the Science Buddies page for this experiment in the description below. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I'll see you next time.